And it's not even October yet, but the spirit of Halloween is already in the air. WVUA's Victoria Sheehan caught up with some people who got an early start on their festive shopping. She wanted to come just look at the costumes and see all the scary things. I brought her sisters earlier and said, so my costume. She went to get her costume. You want to get ready, right? I'm wanting to be Luna, and I think she might be growing interest in talks from Harry Potter. Even before they could finish stocking the shelves, employees at Tuscaloosa's Spirit Store say shoppers were chomping at the bit to get started on their Halloween season. We do have a lot of uh, strange things come in. Like today we had a lady get pig ears and a pig nose, and she's like, well, I'm going to be a pig in a blanket. I was rolling on the floor. It never gets old. Like, I enjoy coming here every morning, even when I'm tired. Well, it may be just the middle of September, but how early is too early to get ready for Halloween? Well, according to the people here, it's never too early for a screen. Oh, it's never too early to have fun. And that's what this is about, dressing up and having fun and just having a good time with our family. There's no such thing as too early, because even when you got what you have already, there's always time to get more. The key word is spirit. You gotta have it. Whether it's the spooky scare or the simple trick-or-treat, people can't help but find their favorite parts of Halloween, even if it is over a month away. Halloween's kind of a big thing for me. It's like one of my number one favorite holidays. I love the, the new Ninja Turtle Power Rangers shirts and the, with the built-in capes and stuff like that. It's, it's one of the you know, funner things I like. And as far as this, zombie babies. Zombie babies. Love those zombie children. What's the spookiest thing that you've seen here today? Probably those freaky babies. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Victoria Sheehan. I haven't seen any good. WVA News. Donations made at the Spirit Store in Tuscaloosa will help benefit Birmingham's Children's Hospital.